This is Cameron Chai from Azo Nano bringing you another episode of azonano.com TV. And today I'm speaking to Kevin Kohler from Anasys Instruments and he's going to tell us about their Nano IR system. Hi Cameron, um, we have an exciting new technology to talk about. Uh, what we're doing is we're combining atomic force microscopy with uh, IR spectroscopy in order to give us IR spectroscopy at significantly better resolution. So current IR spectroscopy is limited by the wavelength of the mid-IR illumination uh, to the diffraction limit, which is typically tens of microns or 10 microns, something like that. And so people trying to do nanoscale resolution uh, don't have the resolution within IR microspectroscopy. And so we've developed a technique we call Nano IR. And so the way the technique works is we have a pulsed tunable IR source and we take this pulse tunable IR source and we direct the illumination up through an IR transparent prism to the underside of a thin sample mounted on the surface of the prism. And then coincident with the beam, we have an AFM cantilever that's essentially at the same location. When we pulse the IR light, what happens is if the infrared light is at an absorption of the sample, the sample will absorb the light, it will rapidly heat up, and it will rapidly expand. And this rapid expansion pings the cantilever, so it makes it ring, much like if you hit a bell with a hammer, you get a ring. And so if we look at the deflection of the cantilever, we see this type of signal in which we see a ring down of the cantilever's oscillation. We then take that ring down and process it, and we build up a spectrum by tuning the pulsed IR source over some range and looking at essentially the amplitude of this ring down in order uh, to get an absorption spectrum which is very similar to a traditional FTIR absorption spectrum. We can compare the two and get very good match between different materials. And so one of the major benefits to that is that when we get spectrum that's at nanoscale resolution, we can take it and import it into FTIR database. And so there's these vast FTIR databases out there in which we can import our spectrum and directly correlate and get the chemical information on the surface of the sample. And so here's an example of some of the measurements with the Nano IR taken on a multi-layer film. And what we're showing here is we've taken a number of spectra as we translate the probe across the surface of the sample and we're seeing different absorption bands for these two different polymer materials. And we can see a very sharp boundary between these two different polymer materials. So now I'm going to show you the system here. So this is the Nano IR system and what we have is we have in the back the tunable infrared source and the tunable infrared source goes into uh, this box in the back which has some uh, beam direction optics and electronics and things like that and then it comes forward here up to the AFM. So this portion on the front here is the AFM and what we have is we have an optical microscope so we can move the optical microscope out of the way and then we can take the AFM head and we can flip it up and then what we can see is the location where the infrared illumination would come up and it goes up into an infrared prism. And so I'll show you an infrared prism here. So shown right there is the IR transparent prism. And so when you're making a measurement, we would take that prism and we would move it over to this prism mount here. The IR illumination would come up through and then we would bring the AFM probe down onto the surface of the sample. We could then scan the surface of the sample, much like a regular AFM, to collect a topography information on the surface of the sample. And once we'd done that, we could select locations or an array of locations in which we can collect the nano IR spectrum. Now in addition to the spectroscopy information of the sample, we have the topography information from the AFM, but also we have mechanical information about the sample. 
So when we ping the sample with our IR pulse and cause the cantilever to resonate, the frequency at which the cantilever resonance resonates is mechanical information locally about that part of the sample. And then in addition to the mechanical information, we also provide on this nanoscale thermal analysis. So within one tool, we can provide the topography of the sample, spectroscopic information, mechanical information, and thermal information all on the same sample. And Kevin, what applications does nano IR have? So the predominant areas that we make measurements are polymer samples and also organic samples. So much like with uh, traditional IR microspectroscopy, it, it gets used in biology to look at cells and tissue and things like that. And so we do those types of measurements with nano IR. And then in addition, we do a lot of polymeric samples, so nano composites, polymer blends, multi-layer films in terms of polymers. So those are all applications which require nanoscale resolution in order to accurately characterize the samples. All right, and if anybody wants more information on the Nano IR system, they can go to your website. Yep, our website is uh, www.anasisinstruments.com, and we have all the information for the Nano IR there. All right, Kevin, thanks very much for telling us about the Nano IR, and uh, we hope that people, if they have any questions, go to your website or contact you guys directly. All right, thank you, Cameron.